Hi, and welcome back to another Scout's Hair from Worcester YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to tie some knots and lashings. The first knot that we're going to look at is a reef knot. This knot is useful for tying two ends of rope together if you're tying the rope around something. So to do this, you need to take two ends of rope. Now you're going to take your the rope in your right hand and you're going to cross it over the rope in your left hand. You're then going to tuck it under like so and then just pull it out slightly. You're then going to do the opposite. So you're going to take the left, um, your left hand and you're going to cross that rope over the right hand side. Once again, loop it under and pull. And then that is what your reef knot should look like. And to check that it's done right, it should slide like this. Next we're going to look at the figure of 8. It is called a figure of 8 knot because when you tie it, it looks like the number 8. So there are a few different ways of doing this. The first way, you're going to make a loop like that in your rope. Then you're going to twist it once and twist it once more so it's wrapped around itself like that. And then you're going to take the loose end and you're going to pop it through this top bit of your number 8 and then you're going to pull tight and that's what your figure of eight should look like. A figure of eight is also used a lot when climbing, but it is done slightly differently. So to do this, you'd make a bigger loop, like that, and you're then gonna take your loop and loop that over, and you're gonna go round here, all the way round, and then back up through the top, and you'd pull like that, and there you've got a figure of eight and it's left a loop. So when you're climbing, this loop can be used for something like a carabiner so that you can secure the rope onto your harness. So the next knot we're going to look at doing is a bowline. This is a knot that creates a loop in the end of your rope that can hold weight. So to do this, I'm going to wrap it around my climbing frame just to show you that it will um, hold some weight. So you're going to have your loose end and you're going to have your longer end. In a longer end, you're going to need to create a loop like that. Now with your loose end, you need to go through that loop from the back. So from the side that you are, you need to push it through to the front. You then need to take this rope and you need to wrap it around the bit that's hanging at the bottom. And then you need to go back through the loop the same way that you went through it before. Once you've done that, if you just pull, that is what your bowline should look like. Then, as you can see, if I put some weight on it, that knot's definitely not coming undone. So first of all, we're going to look at the curve hitch. So you take your rope, and you would wrap it around the pole or bit of timber that you're putting the knot on. As you wrap it around again, you want to make a cross like that. So as you can see, we've got a cross here. And then when you come around the third time, you want to take your end and you want to put it through the middle of that cross. And then you want to pull both ends tight. And that is your clove hitch and that's what it should look like. Now we're going to go on to the timber hitch. So, once again, you'd wrap your rope round. Then this time, you're going to take your loose end and you're going to wrap it back that way. And then start wrapping it around there. And then you want to wrap it a few times around that loop. So then when you pull on it, as you can see, that's nice and tight there. So that's what it would look like. And that is your timber hitch. So first of all, we're gonna do a square lashing. So this is a lashing that you do when you're attaching two poles together that are at a, at a right angle. So they're square. So you'd start this off 
by doing your clothes hitch on one of the pieces of wood. Now, when doing a lashing, I like to remember the rule of three. So we're going to do everything three times. So the first thing we're going to do is you need to go under and over the poles. So you'd go under the pole at the bottom and over the pole on the top. Now with my rule of three, I would do this three times. So under again and over again and make sure as you're going round, you pull it nice and tight to make sure that it stays secure and then you can always hold it once you've pulled it tight and then that should keep the tension in it. And then once you've gone round three times, you then need to go back on yourself and then you need to go all the way around the middle. So this time you're basically going under the top one and over the bottom one. And you're going round in a circle like so. So once again, we're going to do this three times. And once you have done that, you're going to finish it off with another clove hitch. I like to do my last clove hitch on the other piece of wood that I did my first one. So going over, making the cross, and then going through the cross. Pulling that nice and tight. And then there you have your square lashing. So next we're going to do a diagonal lashing. So this is the sort of lashing you do when the poles are crossing each other at a diagonal angle. So for example, if you were making an A-frame, the top of the A-frame, that would be a, a diagonal. Now you're going to start this one off by doing your timber hitch. So wrapping it around and then creating that loop by wrapping it around there. And you're going to pull that tight. Now once again we're going to use our rules of three. So this time, instead of going over and under, we're going to go across like this. So over the top and under the bottom. And remember pulling it tight every time we go through. And we're going to do that three times. Once you've done that, you're then going to go across the other way, so from left to right. Once again, we're going to do that three times. Now, just like on the square lashing, we now need to go round the middle. So we're going to go round in a circle, like so. And then, just like the square lashing, we're going to finish it off with a clove hitch. Pull that nice and tight. And there you have your diagonal lashing. Next, I'm going to show you a shear lashing. So this is a lashing that's used for attaching together two poles that are side by side. 
I'm going to show you the example of how you can do this to make a tripod. So we're going to start off with tying a clove hitch to our one pole. Yeah, okay. we're going to put our three poles together and we're going to wrap around them all. And we're going to do this three times. Now, once we have wrapped around all of the poles, we're then going to wrap between each of the poles. So first of all, we'll go through the gap between the first two poles. And we'll do that three times as well. Remember making sure you put it nice and tight each time. And then we'll go on to the next two and do the same. And once we've done that, just like with the others, we're going to secure it off with a clove hitch on the last pole. So now that we have done that, we can Move the poles out and create a tripod, just like that. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope you've learned some new knots that you can now tie. Why not send us in a video if you tie on your favourite knot? Just email us at staysafe at scoutshw.org.uk that's all for today. Have fun, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.